What's up, Charlie? What's How you happening? doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm just looking in awe at all those. See, I want to do that in my office too, but like, I can't like put my office is the recording studio. I right. feel weird putting plaques up where I make music hoping to get a plaque you know what okay. i mean okay well maybe you, what you do is you just leave like an empty spot all the time you know what i'm saying like this is the next one up next one i, I like that that's a way better some of my friends will put their like their grammys on top of their toilet and like that's so cheesy it's kind of like uh -huh. pseudo disrespectful too i don't know right well I, I've, never, I've actually never like held a grammy before what is it what is it made out of is it it's like metal uh, okay. I think it's gold plated and it's very um it's very heavy. It's very uh not that I've just been nominated. I've never won I, I pick up certificates. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's something, man. I mean it's kind of a you know, it's an honor to be nominated, even be in a in the mix, you know what I'm saying? 100%. So where do you put your plaques anyway? I mean, where do you what do you head them out? I give them to my parents. My parents live uh down the road and they just you know, wherever they have a lot of wall space in their house, so wherever they are just missing something. Hey, see you again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it seems like, you know, that's what parents do. You know, I, I think all my little league baseball trophies are still still up in my mom's house. So oh, <laughs> man, yeah. I totally get it. Oh, yeah. um, was it like 21 Drum Street when Jonah Hill went back with uh, Channing Tatum to his childhood home and she... <laughs> <laughs> participating, <laughs> participating medals like mom this was for participation i didn't even win <laughs> man that's funny man that's that's how our parents roll i guess you know yeah. um that's pretty dope so you, you you got your i have no idea your parents live not too far from you so yeah. your, your, your brother and your sister do they still live with you no they're not not anymore they uh my sister has her own place my brother has his own place but we still see the greatest thing is that we get to see each other um, like every day and I don't have any friends. So it's super <laughs> nice to just hang out with your family all the time. Yeah, that's pretty dope. I actually have a uh, twin, twin girls. So, yeah. you know, we kind of got that in common in a way. Is there like, is there, is there any point where they're going to stop fighting? I mean, they're, they're so <laughs> well, close in age, like y'all, you know what I'm saying? Right. How old are they now? Um, they're preteen. So they're, you know, they're Ooh. almost teenagers. Yeah. All right. you, yeah. You got like eight years of it. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> yeah so, it's all good though but i think uh, uh, twins run in your family twins run in my family too yeah so you never know man maybe one day you have a set, oh, set of twins man <laughs> two of me running around uh-oh right so i i saw you on tiktok the other day i mean you're always i always you all see you in my feed and and i could have sworn like you were messing around with like the stem player was was that yeah. was that what you were messing around with yeah i was i went on live for a second i well, I bought it because I thought I was going to hear Donda 2, and I still haven't heard Donda 2. So, I mean, it's a cool player, but yeah. I feel like I was kind of duped a little bit. I really wanted right. Donda 2. I could also, uh, you know, hit up Mike and tell him to play me some mixes, but, like, I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to hear it. It's over there somewhere. I still don't know how to use it. Okay, because I almost bought one too. Like I was like, well, I, I guess I should check this thing out. I mean, if more people are going to be releasing music, or you know, I, I don't even. I honestly don't even know how it works. Um, I, I, it's so how it works is it's just music. It's it's digital uh, uh, separation. So when you have lossless audio, and you like we're like when I give you guys light switch for example, and. Uh, Atlantic gives you the file. It's a lossless wave file. It's no, it's not an MP3. An MP3 is like the most you can compress the song without compromising its audio quality. On the stem player, I'm assuming you'll get a lossless audio file, like a really high quality wave file, like what we give you guys. And then it'll be so there will be so many musical transients that it'll be able to digitally separate and kind of recognize. Okay, this is Kanye's voice. This is the obvious bass track right now, and this is uh, the drum track. I can do that with this plugin called Isotope, which I think some some of y'all might use. Uh, and it's how you can make like bootleg instrumentals and stuff. It might be more complicated than that, but it's really amazing what you can do with a high quality audio file. Yeah, that sounds dope. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah, maybe I should get one just to mess around with it. Yeah, they're expensive yeah. though. I don't know why they're so expensive. 
Well, it's crazy. Like I, he, uh, Kanye posted about like how much money he made off of releasing it on on this, you know, on the on the stem player. Yeah. It, do you think that's like going to change how artists and you know producers release music, like instead of just the regular avenues that we have now? I think it's it, uh, at the end of the day, it just all all the artist has to focus on. And I say this to you know reaffirm it to myself. All you have to focus on is making a great song there's going to be a lot of technological advancements that come and go you know there's going to be uh, the new tiktok five years from now i don't know what it is but it'll be something and then you'll hear uh you know a viral song go off on that it's just like where the music is at right now and if great music is on tiktok then so be it but like it's really just all about for me at least just making the song and because that's never going out of style like a song that can resonate with people that's really special yeah and it seems like like light switch you kind of incorporated you know what i'm saying like your followers to yeah. almost make the song with you like we felt like we were part of it somehow are we going to see more of that 100 percent. well that's my whole album i'm and i really and i'm glad you said that because i want people to feel like that too because i want them to you know all the millions of people that listen to you guys and your station and you know, the morning show or the afternoon show or the late show. I want them to, wherever they hear light switch, I want them to turn on and be like, oh, I heard that little, I, I, I heard that little blip and bleep and whatever uh, in that drum beat. He was coming up with that. I saw that on TikTok originally. Or I saw it on YouTube shorts. And now it's this official thing uh, that's it go, like actually legitimately going up the charts right now. So I want them to feel like they wrote it with me. So that's every song on this next album. That's dope, man. Well, I, I appreciate, you know, spending some time with me and, uh, you know, congratulations on, you know, the Billboard Hot 100 chart. You're the highest debut with Light Switch for you. So yeah, hopefully they get you a plaque for that or something. Yeah, man. Hopefully I got, I, they're going to get me a plaque and I'm going to give you a plaque too. So you can fit it right above Cardi or something. Or That's something. right, man. Right here, right here, right, right here's your spot, bro. Yeah. Cover <laughs> everyone up. <laughs> I appreciate it, dude. Well, have a good one, man. It was nice talking with you. Nice talking with you, man. You're a good guy. All right. Take care, Charlie. All right. I'll see, see you. Bye-bye.